Rock 108, hey, it's Ned, and it's Upheaval Festival, and I'm very excited about this one because I've been listening to her for years and years and years, whether it be in Flyleaf or her solo work, and I texted uh, your people, like, yesterday. No, this morning, actually, and all of a sudden they said, like, yeah, we can do that. I'm like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> I have to get this going. It's Lacey Sturm, man. Holy crap, how's it going? Oh, it's good. I'm glad to be here with you. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Um we were just talking about parenting skills here for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about, I have a four month old and a two and a half year old. And you were saying like, if you ever just need to yell, just, just whisper a little bit. Yeah. It's It'll very be creepy. A little better. You know? It's more shocking to yeah. them sometimes. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, because the, then they're like, well, maybe dad's just really angry because he's starting to whisper now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. my first question, I mean, I could ask you thousands upon thousands of questions and I don't want to yank all your time. But, um, when I saw that Flyleaf was, you know, starting the detour and then it said Lacey Sturm is returning and maybe I just haven't read a blog or anything like that recently how did that kind of all come back together well um, actually you know my <laughs> my assistant that was on tour with us from the very beginning of mm -hmm. Flyleaf like we were called passerby yeah. like at that time <laughs> right. we were touring in an 88 Ford club wagon van <laughs> and we had a bunch of gear in the back with a mattress on top mm -hmm. and you could climb in there and sleep and then you know yeah she actually came on tour with us to be a stylist or merch person whatever sure. we needed and she uh she was with us from the beginning so she got married and mm. we hadn't seen each other in like 10 years nine yeah. years and so we all ended up at the wedding together and that's how it started that's how it kind of got rolling again <laughs> yeah that's cool I and mean, it's weird that you think like from the outside perspective in radio and radio world it's like oh there was a whole this and they got, got together and was it the guys from My Chemical Romance? You know, they uh, one of my favorite one of their stories is the fact that everyone thought, oh, they broke up, they just hate each other, whatever it may yeah. be. But no, they just went to barbecues every other weekend. They'd meet up together, and be like, oh, I remember those old times, and then eventually they reunion. It's just like, yeah. you know, you you think like this is how it's going to be, and in your case, oh, we met at a wedding again. <laughs> you know, yeah. it just seems so nice. <laughs> yeah, and I was, it was good that it was something that was more organic. You know, mm -hmm. I think it had to be that way. There were some offers for us to get back together to sure. like do reunion shows but we hadn't seen each other and we everybody has different lives lots of children yeah yeah and uh so we didn't it didn't make sense in those times but because we were already connecting and mm -hmm. we figured it out so yeah yeah and that's sometimes it just kind of works out that yeah. way you know <laughs> and, and i like that word organic the fact that it just kind of just happened no one said yeah that they're happening no it just kind of came together in a natural way yeah so that's cool so what's kind of going on with you right now i mean obviously you're still are you still doing solo stuff or is it pretty much just flyleaf yeah all the time i am uh, no we just no. have these uh five festivals actually we just added these two on sure yeah it minute. was very quick <laughs> but um but we have we just had the five festivals booked and with flyleaf and that was all that we had you know moving forward um mm -hmm. again with the families and the band members that have families it's hard yeah. to figure out how to like what does it look like so um that's all we have planned with flyleaf and we've you know the solo project stuff i do with my husband yeah. has been in the works for like five years another album mm -hmm. and so we just put out a song a couple days ago which mm -hmm. coincided with this these shows, which is just, I don't know, like it just all converged. It was, yeah. it was not intentional, really, mm -hmm. but it all worked out. So here we have a song coming out, and hopefully we'll have an album out at the end of August that mm -hmm. we've been working on for five years that five just sort years. of all coming together. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be a unique fi family dynamic being in a, a band with your husband. I mean, and yeah. the Skillet's like that, too. You know, yeah. Skillet brings it, it with yeah. the Coopers, and they bring their kids with them yeah. on their big tour bus and yeah. everything. That's It's weird how, I mean, even for me, be, being a pretty new dad myself, mm -hmm. still trying to figure that out, and even, like, doing the whole rock festival thing. I only just do it twice, you know, like, mm -hmm. two days. Yeah. While a band, on the other hand, you're touring the world. You're, yeah. you're gone for weeks on end. I mean, how is how do you kind of adjust to that with family and everything, too? Well, you know, if you feel like your purpose in life is to be a musician or do whatever yeah and you are married and you have children then that's gonna have to go together mm -hmm. so it might look unique for you know because like prioritizing your family is a magical thing whenever 
things fall into place. Like if you're willing to say no for the sake of your family, then you can you can probably say yes and it still be healthy. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I have to figure out first that I can say no. Mm -hmm. And then once I can, then I can consider, okay, well, what does it look like to still prioritize my family and say yes mm -hmm. to these things? Yeah. Does it work? Right. And if it works, then it's cool. And our kids learn this really cool alternative lifestyle of like, you know, travel and seeing the world. And they have a unique perspective because of that, mm -hmm. that drop everything and go and see a different way of life in a different area of the yeah. world. And, and it's cool to educate them that way, actually, right. you know, because we kind of have to homeschool if you're touring. Sure. Yeah. And I love doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish I knew some of the things that I mean, I remember seeing some of my friends that have parents that do things and they have no idea how to do those things. Sure, yeah. And something in me is like, well, shouldn't you have learned somehow, like, along the way? And I think about that sometimes, and I think, I should teach my kids what I know, at least mm. that much. Yeah. You know, what I can. Right. They might not care anything about it, but at least I tried to, like, yeah, teach them what I know. Best. <laughs> right? Something. So that's part of touring with them, is, like, bringing them in and saying, you know, you're not an interruption to my life. Like, mm. you're you're my life. Yeah. You know, you're part of my life. So right. So let's do this together. Mm. And they're so fun. And actually, <laughs> they're constantly teaching me my faults. Sure. Because I see what's wrong with me in how they relate to you. I have three. No, so man, they, yeah. So to see them argue, I see myself in all of them. <laughs> all of them. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Like, I, that's, Yeah. So I have to say, stop treating them that way. Mm -hmm. And then I have to say, stop treating your husband that way. Because <laughs> <laughs> they saw you do the same thing. Yeah. And they just, they're minor birds. You mm -hmm. know, they copy every single thing that you do. Mm -hmm. I like, I was, uh, my friend of mine was over at my parents. They have a little Jack Russell Terrier. And my friend was doing this to the dog. Like, hee hee, you know, kind of <laughs> messing with him. Uh -huh. And then my daughter did it. And then the dog nipped her. I'm just like, oh, man. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, of course. Yeah, like, they learn like, everything you do. Yeah. And, my, and you know. I remember my 11 year old finally started to just one day he just had enough of just being nice to me and he was just like you know I don't understand why I get in trouble because I ask you a question about what you're telling me to do but you can ask all the questions you want mm -hmm. and then he's like goes on about my how I treat my husband and I'm like just really quietly listening and learning things and really angry at the same time <laughs> like he's very right it yeah. is this is not right. You put your you put your hand just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you kid? Yeah. So, but if you can humble yourself, it's a great adventure in growing as a human. <laughs> it is. Man, and I I feel like I'm learning every five seconds. I'm like, <laughs> what is next? Oh, four months, you know, you're a kid. I'm really excited. She's still doing the spit up thing. It's just like, oh my god. Uh, but it's gone before you know it. But you, you know, know, I love a man who can have spit up on his shirt and move on with his life, like yep. still carry on. Yep. That's, that's beautiful. That's how we roll, man. That's where respect comes. <laughs> from. I can sit here and talk with you for family for years and years. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's wonderful. No, I love it. It's, it's so cool to see from that perspective because, you yeah. know, again, I just do a rock festival for two days. You're doing on this. And then hearing how you raise, it's just cool to hear, you know, yeah. after listening to you for so many years at this point. So, Aww. which I hate to make you feel so many years. No, it's, it is so many. <laughs> 20 years it's okay to say that I, I've made it to 42 years Bam. old this year <laughs> hell yeah I shut up death I'm still breathing still making it happen <laughs> it's like okay yeah. what does this year look like I don't know I'm at a rec festival okay here we are <laughs> yeah, here you are and I'm happy that you're here so that's wonderful thank Amazing you Ned to chat with you so uh, I'll just wrap it up with this is there anything got going on with either solo fly I mean you're doing fly leaf tour dates right now but what's next for Lacey Sturm oh well, we do have a festival Shippensburg it's called Up uh, Uprise I think uh, somewhere yeah it's Shippensburg <laughs> but that's the only Lacey Sturm stuff we have I don't have a lot of uh touring coming up sure. with Lacey Sturm. We have a school year coming up that I'm pretty committed to. Of course. Sticking, you know, pretty close to home. Mm, yeah. But I do have a song coming out that's already just came out. A yeah. video just came out and the album will come out soon. So hopefully 
that's something that people will enjoy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we will definitely give it a shot on the on our Rock 108. Oh, thank See what you. it goes up, man. We do this little feature called the 420 Music Meeting where we play new music from artists, brand new artists, whatever it may be, or sometimes something just weird. And uh, we, we, we put it to the wolves. We see what the listeners say. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Yeah. You never know. But the, all I know is that people find it and then they just go like, yeah, okay. Yeah. We've discovered a lot of new music that way. So <laughs> yeah. there you go. I heard somebody say one time, she sounds like a squirrel that got run over by a lawnmower. <laughs> Oh I was gosh. like, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, Appreciate no, I that. loved it. I love it. And then there was this one time, I think just recently our video, somebody just very just very simple like there. Well, that was a silly video. And I, and I was, it was trying to be serious. You know, it was supposed to be serious. Well, video. that was just a silly video. Well, but I like that yeah. because I'm like, yeah, I was wondering. It kind of felt like it's a little too melodramatic. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Oh, Facebook but it's fun. and YouTube commenters, man. No, oh, my Lord. But I, I think it's fun, you know, when it's honest. Oh, yeah. I, lo- I just wish we didn't have to be so like tiptoe around people's feelings mm, like can mm, we just like say what we're thinking is this america or not? yeah right <laughs> oh my gosh and especially in the internet world oh lord yeah i know it's true <laughs> it can be a lot sometimes i know but it's fun to like i love it when people embrace their criticisms yeah you know i mean we've been talking about that with our children mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> but i like I love it when people are like okay so this is the comment i got and then they just like roll with it it makes yeah. me so happy because I think, you know, we should hear each other out. Listen, yeah. I mean, maybe they're full crap, but maybe they have some point. <laughs> they have something to say. You know, there's something to be said. And, yeah, and yeah. We, we're, we're spending so much time hiding behind things. And if people could just, like, flat out just say sometimes, like, hey, man, you know, yeah, we, I feel like thinking. we'd be pretty good at some points here. Like, mm. oh, boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. all right. I won't steal much more of your time, Lacey, thank but you. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You're wonderful. I'm so happy to meet you after all these years. 20 years. I know. I'm reminding us here. (laughs) Nice to meet you, too. Cheers to rock and roll parenting. Yeah, cheers.